presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. <laughs> Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien filling in for my dad, Tom O'Brien. Uh, he'll be back tomorrow, but boy, what a day to fill in in the chair. Uh, we got an action-packed hour, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We got the S&Ps up an even 100 points as I come to you. We're up 2% in the S&Ps right now, trading at 5,097. The whole market trading higher on the heels of some pretty hot NVIDIA numbers. We jump over to the NASDAQ 100. You're talking about 531 points to the upside, a rise of 3% on those numbers. Pretty dramatic. Dow catching a bit of more than 1%. So you get the Dow up 1%. S&Ps up an even 2 NASDAQ 100 up an even 3%. Pretty easy numbers. Russell? They're up half a percent, up 11 points for the Russell at 2012. You jump over to crude. As I mentioned at the top of the hour, crude right now backing off. We almost made it to 79. We're trading at 78.52. And let's just jump into it, man. NVIDIA shares. As I mentioned, biggest day ever in the market. You're going to add about, I mean, about 2.5 billion shares outstanding for that company. So at $100, you're talking about $250 billion in market cap added. I was reading an article earlier today. The CEO, he's about to crack the top 20 in terms of wealthiest people in the world. Rightfully so, when you have a company that is larger now than Amazon, than Google, um, pretty remarkable, the acceleration, and it's not stopping. The AI run might just be beginning as we got new all-time highs on NVIDIA, up by 15.4%. I mean, you can, you, can, you can jump around wherever you want in this market, man. We got dramatically higher prices. AMD up 11.4%. Microsoft shares up 2.2%. You jump over to Amazon, a 3.5% acceleration to the upside. Companies like Salesforce up by 3.4% right now. You jump over to Apple up by 1.3% right now. You're trading near 185 from 184.67. And let's get into some of those NVIDIA numbers. The bar couldn't be higher and they beat it, man. Revenue in the current period, okay, they beat in the period that we just gave, we just reported for, but in terms of the 90 days that we're in right now, $24 billion, the market was looking for $21.9 billion. Quite a substantial beat when you think about on a percentage basis, whatever it is, uh, you look at the acceleration that they have had in terms of earnings, in terms of revenue, okay, the quotes from the CEO, generative AI, generative AI excuse me, has kicked off a whole new investment cycle that will lead to a doubling of the world's data center installed base over the next five years and represent an annual market opportunity in the hundreds of billions of dollars. Pretty remarkable. Now, who are their customers? About the best customers you can have in the world, man. Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, and Alphabet's Google are NVIDIA's largest customers, accounting for nearly 40% of their revenue as they rush to invest in hardware for AI computing. Yeah, and you talk about percentages, growth, okay? This is how you come into an earnings per share that some view as extraordinary to the upside, okay? NVIDIA's data center division, now by far its largest source of sales, 18.4 billion in revenue, up 409% from the same period a year earlier. Gaming chips providing 2.87 billion in sales. I mean, the ramp up is just remarkable, man. Data center revenue, right? Fiscal year. 2024, $47.5 billion. A couple years ago, you were at $10.6 billion. A couple years before that, you were at $3 billion. Just remarkable, man. Uh, they got a partnership with NVIDIA they had already announced. That's not news on this release. Um, okay, so we jump from that story, all right? 
And let me make sure I can find this one. Because when you jump to, well, this is an important one as well. There's your jump. They're the biggest market capitalization companies, uh, days that market that individual equities have had. There's Meta earlier this month. There's NVIDIA when they really kicked things off in May of last year when they added $184 billion in market cap. And right now, I think at the price, we're probably above 250 Now, this is a pretty cool chart, man, from Bloomberg, an article Bloomberg had this morning. And let's pull up the headline real quick, okay, to give you some context. What bubble? NVIDIA profits are rising even more than the stock. This is how you rationalize an EP earnings per share that is just remarkable to the upside. How do you do it? You keep beating, you keep growing. In the black here, we have the P-E ratio, okay? In the red, we have the share price. And what has happened? You've actually seen the P-E ratio drop pretty dramatically from the high 60s back in the middle of last year to dipping below 25 at one point. You're now talking about a number near 30. Uh, they just keep beating. And that's as the stock has risen from a price of about 300 to pushing what? That's as of the close probably yesterday, right? Because we're looking at a number on this chart that's about 700. What are we trading right now in NVIDIA shares? 778 for NVIDIA shares to the upside. Um, so they're coming into it, man. And, and the CEO sounds very strong. He's talking about numbers that could last through this year as we power forward. Yeah. Um, well, this is one of the analysts out there. But yeah, I got a few articles that we could spend some time on for NVIDIA, man. They're topping that. Yeah, upbeat forecast. All right, we jump around to what else we have going on. We got to talk about AT&T on a day like today, man. We're getting a glimpse of what may happen at some point, folks, as we all become very reliant on internet connections, connect connectivity, our phones. They get a big disruption. Not sure exactly what is going on just yet. Nonetheless, AT&T down by 2.5% on a day that is uh, to the upside like we haven't seen in some time. So they're getting helped by a positive market as well, but they are struggling. The other company struggling is Rivian. Absolutely amazing vehicles that they make, man. But boy, they have a problem. Talked about this earlier on my program at 9 o'clock this morning. They're going to make as many cars this year as they made last year. That is not what's supposed to be happening for this company, man. EVs are in trouble, to put it lightly. lightly. Um, and I was even, I mean, these cars are amazing, man. I, I've looked at a Rivian around the parking lot once. You're in beautiful cars, expensive cars. You're spending almost six figures for a vehicle. You better be getting a, a solid vehicle. You got a few solid choices at that price level, of course. But boy, for the first time ever, I said, man, they have a cash crunch going on at some point. They're losing dramatic amounts of money. There seems to be a demand weakness across the board for EVs. And you got this company trading at 11 bucks. Think that's an all-time low? Let's check it out. Yeah, that's an all-time low today, man. Well off, as I talked about when they pushed this out to the public, at remarkably $100 per share, even higher than that at the end of 2021. You jump over to Tesla. And Tesla not getting impacted, though, as Rivian's got some issues they got to deal with, man. Tesla positive with the market today. S&P's up and even 100 points. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to come back. We're going to be talking to Ed Egalinski, Managing Director with Direction. We'll talk a little bit of markets, talk a little bit of ETFs. Looking forward to it. Don't go away. We'll be right back, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&P sitting up 102 points. That's a rise of 2.06% to the upside. Producers are trying to get a hold of our man, Ed Egolinski. And uh, I imagine it's a pretty busy day in a different, uh, bunch of different offices on Wall Street uh, and in the financial industry overall. And so we'll see if we can get a hold of them. And it's interesting. Uh, even just getting ready, right? The articles. I mean, they're everywhere, man. How about it? ETFs? Yeah, check it out from Bloomberg. And it would make sense. Investors piling into ETFs to bet on NVIDIA earnings. And boy, you talk about paying off, man. Funds saw an influx of cash ahead of the earnings release. And uh, some of these funds, how about um, as if you need added exposure, right? How about getting into the double long NVIDIA daily ETF? You really want some action, man. NVDL. And yeah, I imagine if you got NVIDIA up by what, 15%, you double it. And you're up 31.3%, man. You talk about it, man. One of the ETFs that they do talk in here about here as well um, is the direction. Daily semiconductor bull three times shares SOXL, a fund that gives investors three times the return of an index that includes NVIDIA. Its share price jumped as much as 16% to its highest since March 2022. And look at the types of numbers that they're talking about in here. That fund in particular, SOXL, investors added 400 and five million dollars to the 8.6 billion dollar direction daily semiconductor bull three times shares you jump over to soxl as you imagine semiconductors having quite a day man from 34.58 to 42 dollars right now uh just across the board man and the numbers up here they get you know they're just across the board um investors and it's pretty remarkable that we could be at the beginning of a run when we have the s p sitting at five thousand man the good old roaring 20s in uh, the 2020s instead of the 1920s. Uh, yeah, you have the VanEck Semiconductor ETF pulled in $324 million in Wednesday on Wednesday ahead of the NVIDIA release. I mean, look at these numbers, right? VanEck was 324 They talk about some of the others in here. We just talked about the direction one that took in, what did I say, $405 million? Yeah, Granite Shares, NVIDIA, NVDL, the long one. Wednesday and Thursday, $236 million inflow this month. The biggest since the 660 million basically when they started the fund and of course you're going to get a huge one when you start things occasionally uh nonetheless big numbers across the board that come into nvidia and we could be at the beginning because when does this end doesn't end right here folks as in this run is beginning now 
Are we due for a consolidation? Yes, we are due for a consolidation at some point, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about right here for a moment. Price levels, you could look for a consolidation. Um, you know, we're approaching levels and we'll see where they go. But when you look where we are, an S&P up 104 points at 5,100, it is remarkable the acceleration that we have right now, considering that we were just trading in October at 41.22. Absolutely remarkable you come into that area. 41.22 in the S&Ps, and you're trading at 5,100, and that is October 23rd. So where do you get that consolidation? Uh, we will find out. Um, but it's going to be an interesting one, to say the least. And the NVIDIA numbers, they set the stage, and everything's trading higher, to say the least, right? Okay, with that in mind, let's jump over to our man, Tim Ward. Folks, we talk to Tim every Tuesday and Thursday on my dad's program. Um, and you can check out Tim at the Ord hyphen oracle.com. That's his website. Check it out, please. Uh, always interested in this one. Tim Ward, quite a day to have you on, man. Good afternoon. You're right. How are you doing? I'm so, doing well. Uh, you know, I was listening to your program when you were talking to my dad, Tim, on Tuesday. And boy, you guys sounded pretty bullish, man. I remember you saying maybe this thing carries through to August. And boy, we got quite a head start. Um, I'm pulling up your charts right now, Tim. Just give me one second. But boy, what do, what do you what do you think of this market, man, as we're accelerating? I know you love looking at some ratios or everything. But boy, we got some movement today, Tim. Right. Uh, actually, just look at chart one, which is the... Okay. Uh, it's a monthly um, SPX, and I did a Bollinger Band on it. You can go back farther as you want, but uh, what I want to point out here is the times when 50, uh, actually month end is a week from today. So we haven't hit month end yet. But anyhow, if it closes here or higher, it could be actually a short term trouble for the market. The reason why is because when the um, S and P. I did this as, as the uh, candlestick charting, and when the candle closes above fifty percent, uh, you know, uh, between the high and low of the candle, that candle closes a fifty percent above the upper Bollinger Band. Usually, you get a consolidation, and I mark the times on the chart there. The times when uh, the the candle was more than 50% or 50 or more above the upper Bollinger Band. And right now, it's kind of probably the chart may be kind of hard to see. No, we right got now, it up there. We're above yep. the 50% mark. So, and, I can, um, and I can kind of see how it's peaking above that line. I can, yeah. Yeah, but you want it, it can actually peak above it. You, you know, you can be 10% above it, 20% above it. But when it gets above 50%, that's when you can have trouble. And that's where we are right now. So actually, the most bullish thing you can have is for the market to back off right now. If it closes here, chances are then you're going to have a consolidation because the probabilities are pretty high. At at worst case, you go sideways. Uh, and, you know, I guess or the, the best case, you go sideways. The worst case, it could, it could come in like uh, of uh, – what is that, February of 2020, where you had the COVID crash. So I don't think that's anything happening here. What I do think is, is probably four months in, which is a week from today, the market may just back off here, not a lot, but a little bit, and uh, do a mild consolidation, because I'm thinking what's, what's going on here is, is the market's up too fast, too quick on a short-term basis. And if you flip to, um, uh, let's see if I did that chart Three. We might skip ahead here a little bit. You got it. Whatever you want. And it is interesting yeah, as you get chart. that. Yeah. Go ahead. Which one? Yeah. It, yeah. Go to chart three real quick. Okay. I was just going to mention that you know even before you came on the air, right? I was saying maybe we get a consolidation. I'm sure you heard me because boy, it's just been quite a run, man, from 4100 up to 5100 over the span of three months. Um, but go ahead. We got chart three up here. We're looking at it for the SPY. Right. What I'm thinking here is probably three drives to the top pattern. And actually, when I made this chart, the market is actually higher now. Uh, you don't have a, a – if, you can't really see it, but the, uh, we're even on the daily, we're 50 percent above the, uh, the upper Bollinger Band, which kind of uh, leaves a little bit – kind of a – you know, the week – I didn't see that. The weekly is okay, but the monthly and daily are both above the upper Bollinger Band. And also, if you go down uh, – the second window up from the bottom, you got the SPs hitting a higher high, and you got the VIX making a higher low, and that's usually not a good sign either. So this this rally is not perfect. 
normally you get uh, disbelief when the rally starts occurring, and you got a lot of believers in this market right now. I still think at some point we're going to pull back down to the selling climax uh, on this chart, which is January or no February 13th, which was uh, last Tuesday. And I think we're going to still pull back down there one more time, then get the rally, the real rally, going from there. So, you know, either way, we're going to go up. Uh, what I'm saying is we may see a, a short-term consolidation pullback, possibly all, all the way back to 490 on the SPY, probably find support there, uh, then start the next leg up. So it's that's pretty remarkable. Kind of seeing and I agree, and I love what you're, I agree, I love what you're saying. Um, it's pretty remarkable in terms of that we just trade up from 4,100 to 5,100, and that might not even be the real rally, right? But I love it. Hang with us, okay, Tim? We'll be right back. Um, All right. Stay tuned, folks. We're coming back with our man, Tim Ward. Don't go away. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps up 103 points right now. That's a rise of about 2%. NASDAQ 100 up about 3%. The Dow up an even 1.1%. We're talking to our man, Tim Ord. We're talking markets. And uh, let's continue that conversation. Tim, where are we going to uh, Well, so go. I'm thinking uh, this pattern, since on a monthly time frame, you're above the mid-Bollinger Band by 50%. The daily, you're above the uh, upper Bollinger Band, rather, by 50%. I think the pattern that's forming here, it's a little bit hard to see, but I'm I'm thinking it's three drives to a top. We're in the third top right now. A three drives to a top pattern 
have a downside target where the pattern began. Well, the pattern began on uh, January 30, uh, January uh, 13th, I think it was, which is a selling climax day, and that's back down to 490. So I'm thinking okay. of just kind of a shakeout, uh, sure. especially with with the market touching new highs. The VIX is not even below the previous high. Uh, if you look at the, you know, so the VIX should actually really be plummeting here. And actually, when both markets gapped up, the VIX actually moved higher, or, or the S&P's gapped up, and the VIX gapped down, but the S&P's moved higher, and actually the VIX also moved higher from its open. Uh, so it's kind of an unusual situation. So I'm not, you know, I could be wrong, but I'm not really trusting uh, this rally. Let's flip to chart two real quick. It's a great point. Just I had the VIX up, and I was noticing that myself. Not often do you see. I mean, just even you just look at that chart, man. Fourteen fifty right now. That is above many days on that S and P um, in terms of where we are. Meanwhile, we got the S and P's at fifty one hundred. So worth noting for sure. Yeah, uh, it, I'm it, sorry. It's, it's, uh, yeah. So it's, it's nothing real, real bearish. I mean, not all can yeah. indicators work all the time, but sure. you get enough of them uh, saying that you know maybe not, you know not chase this rally then uh sure. you could be wrong we'll have to you know if that turns out to be the case i'll have to get in later but here's yeah, it another looks like chart that kind of warns me um uh what chart, chart is that number, number two. four two okay yeah. i got it up go for yeah, it you, all right it's the spx tilt ratio which is the second window down from the top when gotcha. the rsi 10 of this uh ratio gets above 75 when I sent you this chart was 74.27. Normally, you can get a short-term consolidation. That's where those blue lines are. When the RSI gets down below 30, usually you're at a low. So you got two things here, two methods unrelated to each other. They kind of say the market is extended. You know, can these indicators fail? Yeah, possibly. But uh, I'm I'm going to kind of wait and see what the, what what it brings here. Uh, if we're still holding these highs, you know, in the next couple of days, I'd be saying, well, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, I'm I'm thinking we're going to get pulled back here, especially on the monthly chart. If you flip back to chart number one, uh, you know, uh, if you can yep. pull that chart up. up real quick, it. yep, it's it's. If you get 50, it's pretty rare. You know, this chart goes back to to uh, 2015, so uh, it, it doesn't get there very often when the uh, uh, S&Ps are above 50% above the upper Bollinger Band, but when it does, it's usually a, a accurate signal. So the most bullish thing it can do is actually back off here uh, over the next, uh, well, until next Thursday. And that would actually open the door for this rally to continue. So right now, because of you running into the upper Bollinger Band, you're 50 percent above. The market's gone up too quick, too fast. Sure. Uh, so it, it's kind of like a stretched rubber band. So I'm, I'm thinking minor pullback, nothing real significant. Uh, you, you get kind of a sideways move, go back to 490. I think that's where it sets up the next rally. So. We'll be nice. talking next Tuesday again to see if I'm right or wrong. Who knows where but, we'll uh, be by that's then. What I that's right. See, uh, on a short term for the for the S and P's. Nice. Um, we we can flip to the if you have questions or we can go on to. No, the this market. is great, man. Let's just keep rocking for sure. You want me to go to chart five? Uh, chart four. Chart four. Excuse me. Okay, we got four up there. Right. Here's a. Uh, you got something good. This is a. I always kind of look at the bigger time frames first, then go down from there. Uh, and this is the uh, inflation deflation ratio, and the top window is the RSI for this ratio. When the RSI okay. gets down around 30 on this ratio, it kind of means the exhaustion move to the downside. And uh, this chart goes back quite a ways, uh, in about 2000, mid 2014, and shows all the times, the blue line shows all the times when this ratio. Um, RSI got below uh, 30, and they all pretty much marked, you know, significant lows. And uh, we're actually we're going to go back and forth between chart four, chart five. The reason why okay. I do that, we got them both up. Go for uh, it, easy enough, for sure. Yeah. So chart, because chart five is is a different yep. method, and the reason why I'm kind of going back and forth, it kind of tells a story here. Chart five, the bottom window, is the 50-day uh, average of the up-down volume percent for GDX. And when it gets below minus 20, which is all the circles, that's the bottom 
the bottom indicator or the bottom window. And yep. all the red circles are times when that indicator got below uh, minus 20. The big, uh, bold circles are times when the, uh, go back to chart four, are times when the uh Inflation deflation ratio RSI also got below 30. So okay. I, I matched those times up, two different methods. And so both of them say you're at a low here, but what it does suggest that this low is probably an intermediate term low, but it's probably going to go sideways for several months. So that's the bad news. But it's the good news you're at a low. The bad news you're not going to rally here right away. It may take, yeah. you know, maybe, you know, April, May, June, July, I don't know. But your at a low is probably just going to mill around, really go nowhere. But once the rally does start, uh, if you look on on uh, chapter page five again, those yep. are multi-month rallies. You know, sometimes they can last even longer than that. So a big rally is coming. But you're going to go sideways over here for probably the next several months, and that's the bad okay. news. So uh, the previous rallies, you know, can last a couple of months. So the next rally is probably going to be at least six months, but it may not start until J- July or, or I don't know, maybe May. I'm not sure. Seasonality wise, gold is, is a lot of times make highs and lows in July. So I'm thinking, in my point of view, it could be July before this rally gets going. So. Sure. Red uh, low, but it's not going to go anywhere. So patience, you know, it would I make sense. What I'm telling my customers, it's a pretty reasonable position. You know, back to the market and with gold as well. But to say, you know, maybe we digest things. <clears throat> excuse me for for you know a small period of time with the run that we've had, and you know, you cap it off with with quite an exclamation point today. Right now, we, you know, we got. I'm sure you S and P is one percent, Nasdaq one hundred three percent, Dow one. Um, excuse me, S and P's are two percent, Dow's up one percent, Nasdaq one hundred up three percent. Um, not exactly, you know, a blow off, but but it seems like it's a reasonable position that at some point we give a little pause, and if it's only two days, and I'm listening to you on Tuesday, and and <laughs> that's the pause, then watch out for this market, man. It's pretty remarkable. Right. Um, but I was so, enjoying what you were talking about on, on Tuesday of this week, man. And, and here we are, um, dramatically higher yet again as we push higher. So it's pretty remarkable. Tim, I appreciate right. the time as always, man. Always a pleasure talking to you folks. Remember, you can check out Tim's work at ord-oracle.com. We talk to Tim every Tuesday and Thursday right here on the program. And uh, we look forward to talking to you on Tuesday, Tim. Have a great one, man. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me thank on. Thank you. My pleasure. And folks, we are coming back with our man, Ed Egelinski, Managing Director with Direction. Uh, we'll be talking some markets. Don't go away. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps right now. As we continue to inch higher right now, you got the S&Ps up 109 points. That's 2.2% to the upside. NASDAQ 100 now up 3.1%. We got the Dow up one and a quarter percent right now and what a great day man we got a great interview coming up we're going to jump over to our man ed egalinski folks ed is a managing director with direction head of sales and distribution head of alternative investments to learn more about their products you can always click on the direction banner right on the front page at tfnn.com and ed good afternoon quite a day man great to talk to you thanks for coming on the program uh, a bull's delight today for sure glad, glad to we, be here are we going to have enough to talk about, man? Um, so I want to I want to talk to you about you know the market, the big picture of the market. Um, but boy, we gotta we gotta kick things off with the action today. Just a blowout number. Um, I was reading earlier, just in terms of ETFs and people plowing money in ETFs. Um, you know, I know you guys have the SOXL. That's it's just dramatic. That was even referenced in the article I was talking about on Bloomberg. Um, but what do you think about this market, Ed? What do you what, do you think it's got some leg? What do you what do you see in this market as we got quite the acceleration on the heels of those Nvidia numbers last night? Yeah, as you know, uh, most of our trading vehicles are leveraged in inverse. Uh, we're agnostic in terms of the direction of the market. We let the traders decide that. But certainly, uh, the bull camp is having its way today. Uh, as you mentioned, Nvidia's blowout earnings last night, monetizing AI. Uh, has definitely uh, seen the stock skyrocket to yet another all-time high uh, and bring the semiconductor space with it as well. As you mentioned, uh, we have a triple leverage bull and bear uh, on the semiconductor uh, index, on the NYSE Semiconductor Index, SOXL on the bull side, uh, SOXS on the bear side. Uh, and the same thing with NVIDIA. We're seeing a lot of flows pre and post earnings not just in the one and a half times bull NVIDIA product we have, which is NVDU, uh, but also on the bear side, some people may be trying to hedge some profits or think that uh, the valuations are stretched. Uh, so we have a bear non-leverage for those traders uh, as well. So uh, we're seeing a lot of flows today in general. Uh, we have this year. Uh, but the preponderance of the move continues to be on the bullish side, uh, particularly with the mega cap names. Uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of flows in our leverage and inverse single stock ETFs, not just NVIDIA, uh, but we have six of the seven magnificent seven single stocks available. Uh, either if you think the bull market's going to continue one and a half times bull, or uh, if you think that uh, these individual stocks might slow down on the bear side, non leveraged bear. The only one we don't have is Meta of, of the Magnificent Seven on the single stock. Okay. And I know investors are falling in love with those single stock ETFs, especially with the exposure. I mean, reading about them today for NVIDIA, my goodness, the numbers even, uh, it's a record day, right? $250 billion added to market cap. Never been done before. That's where we sit right now. They'll probably finish somewhere in that ballpark as you're up uh, pretty dramatically, to put it lightly. Um, so we jump from that. Of course, we have the bigger picture 
of the Fed in focus to some degree. This economy just chugs on with earnings. We saw it last night. We saw it with some of the bigger tech companies out there in terms of just pretty decent beats across the board trading higher, even though the bar has been pretty high. Um, but how do you look at the picture, Ed, going a little bit big picture when we talk about the CPI? We've had some hot inflation numbers. We now get the market, you know, accelerating even higher. Um, how do you look at that for traders with the S&P, you know, sitting at 5,100 right now? Um, as we still are dealing with inflation in this market, we still have a Fed that's that's pretty tight right now. Now that can be debatable, of course. Um, but how do you how do you look at that with with traders potentially positioning themselves with with uh, you know the CPI inflation still out there as one of those variables in focus? Yeah, certainly the CPI and the PPI last week, uh, you know, gave some bond uh, traders some pause in terms of the timing of the Fed deciding maybe to start cutting rates. If you look at the Fed fund futures based on the minutes yesterday, the Fed minutes, uh, it seems like it's being pushed out further into the year in terms of potential rate cuts. What we're seeing is, again, from short-term traders, uh, is uh, trading the contrarian uh, trade right now, which is TMF, which is our triple leverage 20 plus year treasury. Uh, for those of you familiar with TLT, uh, we're, we're triple leverage using uh, that ETF and what's called the swap on an ETF to get that bullish exposure. Uh, but, you know, the bears have won so far this year. We have TMV, which is the triple leverage on the 20 plus year treasury bear. Um, so we're, we're seeing contrarian inflows in terms of bucking the trend, uh, thinking that rates will start coming down from a short term perspective. We also have the seven to 10 year people could trade as well, a little bit on the shorter end of the curve. Uh, but the path of least resistance right now looks like interest rates continuing to climb. Uh, I think a technical level around uh, on the 10 year is probably around four and a half percent could be our our next stop. Uh, how does that affect equities? Uh, I don't have to tell anybody in your audience. Uh, certainly it's going to be less vulnerable to the mag seven or the tech sector, which has more uh, cash uh, on their balance sheets. We're probably if rates continue to go up might hit a little bit are the small cap stocks that that tend to need more cash. Uh, and, and tend to borrow more. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable, man. I was just taking a look at that 10-year when you were talking about it. I mean, it's it's remarkable how often the market has kind of gotten ahead of the Fed this go around, and then and then it reprices, and then in the span of almost two or three weeks, we're having an entire different conversation somehow in this market. Uh, but boy, those those magnificent seven, they just power through no matter what. Uh, it seems like the interest rates are doing right now. You know, you go from there, and of course, inflation's persistent, and then you take a look at, I was wondering if I could get your take maybe on how, you know, commodities as we go towards, you know, traders, of course, the dollars had a lot of volatility recently, that, of course, on the heels of the yields like you're talking about. But for traders, we got a bunch of traders, whether it's in gold, of course, um, but many different commodities in our trading room. Uh, for traders looking to take advantage of maybe those moves in commodities we're getting based off, whether it's the dollar, whether it's the commodities themselves, um, what are you seeing out there, Ed? You seeing anything there? Well, well, it's interesting. The dollar strengthening, definitely there's an inverse relationship between the commodity gold uh, and, and the dollar, and you're seeing that this year. But what's interesting is that from a trader's perspective, when you look at gold mining stocks, uh, some of you might be familiar with GDXJ uh, or GDX. We have leverage versions of that 2X bull and bear. Uh, and what's interesting is that the gold mining stocks have performed much worse than gold itself. So a lot of our traders uh, are trading the gold mining stocks. They have a high beta associated with it. So traders love to trade something uh, with high beta associated with it. Uh, but uh, the trend has been lower with uh, the gold mining stocks. And I think part of the reason is that interest rate narrative climbing, uh, they definitely are more capital driven, need infusion of capital, uh, and also have a lot more uh, in terms of debt on their balance sheets. Uh, so that's probably adversing, uh, adversely affecting gold mining stocks even more than the metal itself. In regards to crude oil, it's been the opposite. Uh, crude oil has risen. I think part of that has been the geopolitical risk, whether it's the Black Sea, the Red Sea. Uh, there's a lot of supply chain potential issues uh, and the ongoing uh, conflict, uh, unfortunately, in the Middle East. Uh, so you're seeing crude oil rally a little bit this year relative to the energy stocks. Uh, but we are seeing both activity in our 2X bull and bear, uh, the energy select sector index, ERX, ERY. 
Yeah, it's pretty wild, man. Um, and that was a quick nine minutes, Ed. Yeah, ERX, I got up here, 59.23. That crude market sitting at 78. Ed, this was great having you on, man. That was great information on quite a busy day in the market. And we look forward to having you on uh, in the future as well. I know we're setting up those interviews. We look forward to yep. it, man. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Have a good you day. You as well. Are you Folks, ready to take tuned. your trading right. to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Quite a quick hour, right? That was a great interview, Ed. Appreciate him coming on. And uh, as always, folks, you can check out all the Directions products right on the front page of TFNN. You'll see the Direction banner right at the top there, right here in the middle as well. Click on that and just going through some of the – it's amazing how the CTF uh, business is exploding. And, you know, we talked about SOXL, SOXS. SOXS. That was one of the ETFs that was mentioned in the Bloomberg article I was talking about earlier in terms of people plowing into ETFs. Um, but as Ed mentioned, folks, you know, check out the ETFs, man. It's amazing the lineup that you have here. He referenced the Magnificent Seven stocks. OK, you got Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA and Tesla. The only one not in here is Meta. And you can get yourself 150 percent exposure to the upside uh, as well as a bearish 100 percent short to the downside easier than going short if you can't go short in some accounts, et cetera. So check that out. Great interview. And we look forward to having Ed on. I know we're setting more interviews up in the process. And Tim Ward, I know the conversation in the Tiger's Den. You know, I know that those ratios go quick, folks. 
Here's what I'll encourage you to do, okay? Number one, we archive everything we do, that interview with Ed. If you wanna recap some of what he said on there, that's gonna be available right on our YouTube page. The interview with Tim Ord, that's gonna be available right on our YouTube page. Just head on over to TFNN, folks. Uh, excuse me, to YouTube, search for TFNN, subscribe to our channel, like it, make sure you get those notifications. And I encourage you to join the Tiger's Den too, folks. It's only a dollar, dollar for the year. That's basically to make sure we validate everybody, to make sure we get no spammers, so no scammers in there, et cetera. Uh, check that out as well. Great day to be in the Tiger's Den, man, as things are rocking to say the least. And uh, and check out Tim Moore's webinars. We got a couple of great webinars from Tim under the services tab. That'll help you understand. If you're really not you know understanding what's going on, he has got some outstanding ratios, folks, especially when it comes to potentially market bottoms, market tops, how those numbers look, exacerbated fear, exacerbated ex exacerbation completely, right? Nonetheless, folks, it was a pleasure filling in for my dad. He will be back tomorrow and we'll wrap it up with NVIDIA. We're gonna close at the tick high. How about that? NVIDIA up 110 points, 16.34%. I'm not kidding, man. This thing is going to close at the literal tick high almost right now with three minutes to go. I'm coming back for the four o'clock update, folks, and then that's it. Stay tuned. Have a great one. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow at nine in the morning, folks. Have a great one.